Hi everyone, welcome to the third day of my week featuring Penny Black stamps. Today I will be using this birthday stamp which is really adorable and it's called Tall Cake. I am going to stamp it with uh, black ink. I am using the same as the stamp black ink today and um, I am working on a watercolor paper. I'm going to stamp it quickly and then apply some clear embossing powder. This is going to give a nice raised embossed um, uh, defined line and it's going to help me later on when I am going to apply my paint. Now you can always use uh, Versamarking and uh, apply black embossing powder but if you do as I am doing then you will see that the results are going to be great just because you will not have uh, that black uh, powder all over your uh, card. So now I am going to stamp the sentiment. I am using the Happy Birthday Sentiment from the Special Thoughts stamp set by Penny Black. And uh, again, I am going to do the exact same technique, stamping with my black uh, Simon's stamp ink and apply some clear embossing powder. As always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. So once I had everything uh, set, it was time to apply my paint. Today my card is going to be very simple and I had so much fun and it was so relaxing to just uh, use my Simmers paints and color. Simmers come as you see them now, you don't have to activate them with water or anything. You just need to stir because um, they have a simmer in it and uh, it... Uh, sits at the bottom so before you use them you need to make sure that it's uh, the paint is nicely stirred otherwise you will not get all that simmer on your card or on your project so i am not going to do any type of shading today i'm just going to color simply my card of course you can uh, mix up all the colors of uh, the simmers and um, get a great uh, watercolor look but uh, today i decided to go really simple with my card so I am steering again and uh, on the screen you can see the names of the paints that I am using every time and I'm also going to make sure that I list everything uh, also in uh, the description area. Now if uh, you decide to buy anything from the Simmers website make sure to mention my name so just write Vicky in the field when you check out and they will send you one extra pot of color along with your order as a gift. Now, although it looks very plain at the moment, it really is beautiful in real life because that uh, paint is um, so shiny. And at some points, as I was coloring, I lifted the card and tried to catch the light so you can see how shimmery and shiny my card looks. I hope you can see now. And really I feel that when I am using a big stamp like this one, which is so adorable, you don't really need to do anything uh, too complicated on your card, since I don't want to steal the thunder from that tall cake. So I am going to continue doing my simple uh, coloring. You can see all the names of uh, the colors that I am using on your screen. And I will catch you up once the coloring is done. Now I have finished coloring my main image and uh, just because I wanted to make sure that uh, this girl wasn't just floating there in the card, I decided to give her some ground. Now I just love this uh, blue color so I don't mind if uh, the ground is blue, I just want to add blue there, don't ask me why. 
So anyway, I have applied a little bit of water first and now I'm doing uh, wet on wet. So I have a nice little uh, illusion of a ground there. I have sticked that down on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and my card is pale pink and to finish off my card I decided to add on her dress some polka dots with white enamel. And just because I couldn't stop with uh, the little details, I went ahead and added those uh, cute little dots on the cake as well. I think that adding little dots here and there really make uh, things more whimsical. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are the close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here are the two cards that I made while featuring Penny Black this week. Click on any of the videos on your screen right now to watch it, or if you are watching from a mobile device, then you can find links to both those videos down below in the description area, as well as on the card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!